Right, hello, this is Phoenix from Zulu Alpha, and I'm going to be demonstrating a mod that's going to be released with our package of mods called the ZAM, Zulu Alpha Modifications, and this particular mod is called Show Names, and it deserves its own video because of its large number of features. Now, this was this uh, all these mods were named for Zulu Alpha and this particular mod was used over a year ago though in a simpler form and it's designed for co-op and PvP to help us identify other people. Now the principle of this mod is to show people's names. However, more than that, it's to show them realistically how how you would see them in real life. Uh, so, for example, if someone's really far away, then the name tag is much smaller and you wouldn't be able to basically the face is much harder to identify and so the name tag would be harder to identify it corresponds with that and uh, I'll show you also the other factors that this mod takes into account in order to get that realistic uh, effect so firstly you get the name tag and you get the rank now the name tag and both and the rank um, get smaller and larger with distance and uh, as you just noticed inadvertently um, is that I can zoom in and zoom out and the name tags get bigger and smaller so if someone's far away you can uh, zoom in and there we go that's Johnson zoom out and I do not know who the hell that is uh, another thing that's done is fade so as you can see uh, when you move away the name tags fade a bit more so it just uh, adds another effect to make it more difficult to identify far away people uh, now of course uh, t what's very important to make this name tag system realistic is line of sight. So, as you can see, let's say I'm, sh uh, let's have a look at Conrad here. I get behind this wall, and I cannot see Conrad anymore. Now I can see Conrad. There we go. And uh, this works for many objects, not just terrain, but also vehicles and crates and stuff. And uh, the line of sight is uh, calculations are done between. Your, the player's eyes, so my eyes, and the eye position of the other people. All right. Now, uh, this is also this name tags also is optimized for vehicle use. So as we can see here, um, let me just start off with a truck. There. So uh, you can look in the back and you can see roughly who's inside. And uh, let me just hop in the back, just give a bit of demonstration of how it may feel. And uh, yeah, so. Hello White, hello Lee, hello Campbell, hello Parker, and yes, so we know who they are now, so you can greet them and appear mad because of the AI. Alright, so we can see it works very different kinds of vehicles, and also one thing to note is because it calculates line of sight and you can't get line of sight through a chopper metal shell, then you shouldn't see them. That's not perfect though, but that's a limitation of the engine and the line of sight command calculations. Uh, it's also really useful for little birds and, of course, any vehicle. Uh, there's also a hunter down there, which same principle as the the uh, Black Hawk because of the uh, limited windows. All right, um, so those are vehicles, and um, so I'm gonna carry on with more factors that, that affect how well your name tags show up. So now we're gonna try night time. So let's do that. All right, so here we have night time and. As you can see, I have the name tags shown down, and I cannot see anything. However, if it's, uh, I can see a bit if it's silhouetted, though. If I switch on my NVGs, now I can see people. If I switch off my NVGs, then I won't be able to see any names. However, um, if there is some nice backlighting, as in street lamps, then you should be able to see them. Now, this is this the effect is simply achieved by making the the name tags black and the tags um, name tag color is tied directly to the time of day. Or so basically, at dawn or dusk, it'll actually be slightly grey. So you can see you can see his name because it's got a light background. Um, his name, light background. Uh, this guy's silhouetted actually, so you can sort of see him. And uh, yeah, so it tr tries to simulate that effect. All right, now the next thing we're going to do is fog. So I'll just get it back to daytime. Um, All right. <coughs> so what we're going to do now is check out the fog effect. Fog is calculated um, using a separate fog uh, function I made before, and it takes into account the Armour 3 new advanced fog. Uh, Karate, do you mind if you help me? Yep. 
Sure, I'm gonna go on top of this hill, and you come up with me. And then we're just gonna demonstrate um, elevation-based fog and some cool effects you get. So, all right, so let me just sort of quickly set some fog. So one max, and uh, let me just think. This was a nine meters. Yeah, that's good enough. All right, so I'm gonna. Uh, I would like you to walk down into the fog at the base. Cool. Okay, I'm gonna show your name tag the whole time. You can see it disappears much more quickly when you're in the fog. Okay, come back up. All right, come back up here. <coughs> okay, let me just make it uh, ten meters now. All right. So as you can see, um, it works two ways. So if you go into the fog, I won't be able to see you. And if I go into the fog, then I will, will not see your name. Can you see my name? Nope. All right, cool. So it's also because it calculated eye level, not just the person's position. You can even be uh, taken to uh, either fact of you being crouched or prone is taken into account. So just to make myself clearer, let me just uh, increase that to what's nine, I guess. All right, so come down here with me. Right, so we can sort of uh, see each other and uh, go prone. See, now it's much more dim. dim. I, can't, I, I can't see your name because you're way too low in this elevation-based fog. Uh, go crouch. Let's see your name a bit more. Stand up. And your name tag is bolder now. Alright, so that's the uh, fog effect. Um, now, now we're going to do is go through rucks. So let me just uh, make this fog zero. Alright, so... <coughs> uh, Krati, actually, you can come here and help me as well. Right now, these rucks are, have not been claimed by any people, so they have no name tags. But for example, if I were to take my ruck, which I have on me, which is a nice radio pack, I drop it on the ground, I use show names, and I can see Phoenix's ruck. Now, the same size of the name tag and the rate at which it fades is quicker because it's a smaller object that's hard to identify. It has, oh, by the way, a name tag on any object is affected by all the same effects: line of sight, fog, time of day, and all that stuff. All right, uh, Karate, drop your ruck next to mine. Oh, you don't have a wreck. You can get a wreck. Ooh, someone destroyed a crate. They can all that. Okay, let me just uh, just drop that wreck. I'll get a new one. Um, what's going on? Just, uh, just drop. Uh, drop. There we go. There we go. Okay. So here we have Karate's wreck, and uh, of course my wreck next to each other. You can see two rucks on the ground. You can tell who's the suits. Now, uh, one thing to take into note when you put them in a pile, so I'm going to put my stuff, I'll put my backpack at the bottom of this pile, and you can see only one name, Karate's ruck, because he's, his ruck is at the top of the pile. Now I'm going to not shoot it, but I'm going to take um, his ruck out, steal his ruck, and now my ruck's name shows up. So basically, whichever was at the top of the pile. Alright, uh, that's basic rack stuff. And I'm going to demonstrate groups. Now, as you can see, everyone has um, a fairly light font on the pub of the names, but if you happen to join someone's group, uh, so let me just stand by and just join your group. Um, ah, there we go, join group. Now you can see that it's much bolder now. Uh, just, Karate, can you stand next to this guy here? Yeah, way bold. So basically, anyone and you can clearly see from a distance anyone in your group, and just acts as a little subtle notif notification or rather indicator. All right. Now, one thing I like to do now is uh, is demonstrate a knowledge system. Now, sometimes you may want to give names to uh, civilians or enemies, for example, HVTs or VIPs. Now, um, as you can see, these guys have the names don't pop up at all because they are different factions, so they're not expected to recognize them. It's another realism consideration. However, if we want to know who they are, then uh, let me just... Uh, this is a useful feature for mission makers. So as a function for this, uh, let me just go get it, add discoverable. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make him discoverable, as the name implies.
Okay, that's the uh, object. Well, I hope it was. Okay, now the first parameter is just the, t uh, the object that you, that you want to make discoverable. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's, that's actually all you need for the uh, basic version implementation of the script. So I'm going to hit local exec. Now, I don't see his names because um, it's from a distance. He's discoverable, but I don't yet know about him. So if I were to say, I'm going to hold down name tags the whole time, I'm going to go up close to him, up to his face, and oh, and I know who you are. And now the name is now basically remembered. I, I remember who he is because I, he's discoverable, and now I know about him because I can identify basically his face with his clothes or whatever. I can I know who he is from a distance. Now let's uh, do let's take this uh, let's modify this process a little bit. So now this function has another optional second parameter. We can simply say true, which means that he is already known about. So he has does not have a name tag yet. So I'm going to make him uh, discoverable and and already known. See, and I already know his name without having to go up to him. And what's more is if I want, I can give people custom names. So let's say this guy is HVT. And I just go up to a guy I haven't given a name to yet. And uh, there we go, civilian. And there we go. This guy is known as an HVT. Uh, of course, that works with discover discoverable, uh, with knowable as well. You can make him an HVT not yet known, so you have to discover who's the HVT. And of course, we can change the name of Karate Bob. Uh, so let us uh, set you to Helper Guy. Nice. There we go, Helper Guy. Cool. And that is uh, all, um, almost all the features. One last uh, feature is a TFAR feature, which is the main reason why helper guy here, which is Karate Bob, I don't want to not appreciate it. Okay, so basically as you can see, okay, let's start with the whisper. Um, actually, I don't need to set my, my voice volume. Okay, so this, uh, so basically when someone's speaking, the name tag appears red, uh, and the quieter they are, the less red it gets. So, for example, uh, let's try whisper. So, Karate, what once you do is just uh, count up uh, while you're whispering and walk backwards away from me. All right. Okay, whispering. One, two, three, four. And you see, okay, when I stop, see, and now walk back to me and and, uh, and count. So, as what we, so what's happening over here is we can see the name tag gets redder and redder. The louder it gets. Okay, cool. Now let's repeat that with. Um, I'm always changing my voice volume. Uh, now let's repeat that with uh, normal. It's the same process. One, two, three, four. Five. I just take like a job. Seven, eight, nine. There we go. Come back. Can't hear you anymore. Excellent. And of course, the same thing helps with shout, but shout is an even longer demonstration, but the same principle. All right, and that's all the main features. Now, um, many of these features are toggleable. I'm going to demonstrate, for example, if you don't like using ranks. For example, my Milsim group doesn't use ranks, uh, at least the in-game ranks much at all. So let me disable it. So let's go Zam. Now all these functions um, are documented. Um, you can just just in the function browser, everything is you know has nice descriptions. And the readme, you uh, you can see which um, uh, actually in the user config files, you can see the, all the variables and all commented which disables which features. And uh, there's quite a bit of configuration available. Uh, these features can be turned off by either in the user config, or they can be turned off by the mission maker. And it can be and the mission maker settings takes precedence over the user config settings, so you can lock down settings. So, uh, let's see, show names, ranks, equals false, and uh, no more ranks. No more ranks for anybody. And uh, Karate, you can see it on your side too, right? Yep. Yeah, just make sure it's executed globally. And, uh, yeah. Cool. And uh, this is everything. Uh, thank you for watching. So I hear YouTubers always say, and it's true. Thank you for watching. And, uh, yeah. This is show names.